This goaltender was thrust into a difficult situation in his NHL rookie season, but remained a steady netminder throughout his short pro hockey career. For this episode of A Piece of History and the NHL Story of, we focus on the short pro hockey career of Mike Condon. Born in Holliston, Massachusetts on April 27, 1990, Mike Condon was an undrafted goaltender who, prior to playing pro hockey, went down the collegiate route with Princeton University, appearing in 53 games over four seasons there. At the conclusion of his university journey in 2013, he was signed by the Ontario Reign in the ECHL, and after he recorded an excellent 3-1 record with them, along with a shutout for good measure, he was signed by the Houston Arrows and he closed off that season by being their number one goalie for the final three games of their opening round series of the AHL playoffs. Days after Condon's short playoff run with Houston, the Montreal Canadiens saw potential in him and signed him as a free agent. In 2013-14, he spent the majority of the year with Wheeling in the ECHL, though got to play in three games with Hamilton in the AHL. In his 39 games in the ECHL that season, he led the entire league with the best save percentage at 93.1%, along with six shutouts. He also led Wheeling into the second round of the ECHL playoffs. In 2014-15, Condon was promoted to the Hamilton Bulldogs in the AHL as he became their number one goalie. He went 23-19-6 with four shutouts, a 2.44 goals against average, and a 92.1% save average. More pressure did not mean he would perform any less. In 2015-16, he earned the promotion that every pro goalie wishes for. He made the opening night roster of the Montreal Canadiens and was to be the full-time number two goalie behind Carey Price. On October 11th, 2015, it was his moment. Mike Condon got the starting goal for the Canadiens versus the Ottawa Senators. He was more than up to the task as he stopped 20 of 21 shots in a 3-1 victory. When Carey Price was injured in November 2015 and ruled out for the remainder of the season, Condon went from rookie backup to the de facto starter for their legendary franchise. Though both he and the team had their ups and downs that year, Condon appeared in 55 games while recording a 21, 25, and 6 record with one shutout, a 2.71 goals against average, and a 90.3% save average. That offseason, he also got to represent the United States at the 2016 IIHF World Championships, where he got into 5 games of action as the USA won 4th place. Despite stepping up in the absence of Carey Price, the Habs opted to go with Alvaro Montoya as Price's backup for the following season after Condon struggled in that year's preseason. He was placed on waivers, though he was signed shortly thereafter by the Pittsburgh Penguins. After a single period of relief action for Marc-Andre Fleury on October 22, 2016, Condon was traded to the Ottawa Senators to back up Craig Anderson and he made his Sens debut on November 3rd, 2016. Condon made a fantastic first impression as he stopped all 27 shots that he faced versus Vancouver in a 1-0 victory. With Craig Anderson absent for a couple of months to be with his wife who had been battling cancer that year, Condon at one point appeared in 27 consecutive games for the Senators from December 1st, 2016 to February 4th, 2017 before finally getting a game off. Ultimately though, both he and Anderson were rock solid in goal that year as both netminders appeared in 40 games and both goalies also recorded 5 shutouts. When it came time for the playoffs however, the Senators opted to go with the much more experienced Anderson between the pipes. The Sens eliminated Boston in 6 games, though in Game 4 of the second round versus the Rangers, Condon appeared in a period of action after Anderson was pulled for allowing 3 goals on 20 shots. Mike Condon stopped 9 of 10 shots that came his way as the Sens fell 4-1 in that game. 
Anderson, however, bounced back thereafter, as the Rangers were then eliminated, and the Sens were into the conference finals versus the Pittsburgh Penguins. In Game 5, at the series tied at two games apiece, Condon got to play in over 41 minutes, with Anderson struggling as he had allowed 4 goals on 14 shots. In relief, Condon stopped 19 of 22 shots that he faced, as the Sens lost 7 to nothing that day. The Sens prevailed in Game 6 behind Anderson, they then got to within a single goal of making it to the Stanley Cup Final, as they were finally eliminated in double overtime of Game 7 by the Pens, who went on to win the Stanley Cup that season. The following season, the entire Sens squad struggled and finished with 31 less points than in the previous year. Naturally, with the team struggling, so did Condon as he recorded only 5 wins in 31 games played. In 2018-19, after only 2 games played at the Sens, Condon was diagnosed with both hip and back conditions. He played one additional minor league game that season before he was out for the remainder. Though he was traded to Tampa Bay in 2019, he only ever played a combined 11 additional minor league games thereafter, with his final game played in 2020. Since retiring, he has taken up coaching with Northeastern University, and being so young, who knows where his post-playing life will lead him. In his NHL career, Mike Condon appeared in 129 regular season games, recording a 45-58-17 record with 6 shutouts, a 2.79 goals against average, and a 90.5% save average. In two playoff games, he went 0-0 while recording a 3.92 goals against average and an 87.5% save average. At Heroes of the Crease Goaltending Museum and Memorabilia Limited, our corresponding piece of history from Condon's pro hockey journey is this game-worn 2016-17 Ottawa Senators playoff set road jersey, worn by Condon for both of the playoff games that he played during his NHL career. It first saw use on May 4th, 2017 versus the New York Rangers when Condon entered in relief of Craig Anderson. The next game it saw action in was in the conference finals against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Condon once again entered in relief of Anderson on May 21st, 2017 and he stopped 19 of 22 shots faced while wearing it. Definitively photo matched, this stunning jersey exhibits a multitude of wear including stick and puck marks, a testament to the fast pace of the NHL playoffs and how Mike Condon was never afraid to put himself on the line to make the save, even while he was fighting his own body that was in pain since his college days. This amazing jersey will forever remain a piece of history from the NHL story of Mike Condon.